Hey what's up Nord47 back with you once again on the Golf Club 2019 for the final video of the recently updated tips and tricks series that I've done. Um, today it's not going to be really a tips and tricks I'm just going to be it's I did explain in the last video or I mentioned in the last video that it's just going to be as if I'm playing around by myself I'm not going to be going into detail explaining uh, what I'm doing just apart from one thing that I will briefly mention when we get down onto the first green. Um, I say it's just basically to see we're going to put everything into practice and see how well we can score. So I did mention as well that we'd be back here at the Steinbach Reserve, uh, of course created by Hippie Stein himself, which was featured featured uh, in the putting video. I've left everything at default, apart from the wind. I've just changed that to medium speed and a southwest direction. We're going to be playing off the black tees, which are 7,187 yards. And we'll play... I've played the course about, I think it's three or four times now. Um, so I've always played pin set one, so we'll play, uh, we'll play pin set three, we'll play pin set three for a change. So I'll be right back in just a second when we hit the first tee. All right, so here we are on the first tee, as you will notice straight away, I have actually turned off the, uh, the flyover cameras again. Uh, I usually do always, uh, have them turned off anyway, but I will also just apologize really quickly as I take this first tee shot which here should be good um i will oh i didn't actually want to fast i don't think um but yeah i was meant to actually get this video up to yourselves about four maybe even five days ago but uh just every time i've had the opportunity something's come up so i haven't been able to get it done now until this evening but uh let's see how well it goes so a ball is slightly above the feet i'm not really too concerned with that 166 164 to the pin so it's been about 170, so 7 iron, maybe a touch aloft, just a little bit. Where's that mark gonna drop? Okay, I want that out maybe about 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, in and around about there, maybe a touch back in. It's a good swing, come on, get around. It's tracking around nicely, now is the wing gonna hold it from me? Oh, ran on. I'll have to remember the greens are firm and fast. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, I did mention just at the start there that I did want to just touch on one little thing. Um, otherwise, as I, as I did say, I'm not going to be going into detail with anything. But just in regards to giving numbers to each of the lines. So I know this is the opposite way around. This is a, a left to right break. But just imagine it was a right to left break. Um... On the bottom right of the screen, near the bottom right, you'll see the, the little eye symbol and the triangle symbol beside it for getting down here into the worm cam. Um, so just try and picture. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come back a little bit. And let me see, where can we get it? We'll get it here with this grid line here. As you can see now, the grid line that's right below, right below the two symbols there. Roughly what I've started to gauge that number to be halfway between the base of the screen and the, the bottom of the white circle with the eye symbol in it, I've gauged that to be about a three. And then the base of the circle to be touching onto a six, just very, just very slightly getting into the circle of seven. You can kind of gauge it from there, but that's sort of that's sort of where I go where I go from. Um I don't actually think I touched on that. I actually I'd only it was only after doing the putting video that I did uh, did come up with that one. Um, so anyway, let's move along. I will give this five. Don't know if I want that five in. We'll see. And yeah, it's more towards a two, so seven, nine, eleven, two thousand thirteen. Bring back to eleven. Here's the last one. This will be, <coughs> excuse me, this will be a four. Uh, I'll take a two, so nine left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not too bad. One, two. It's going to get there. Here we go. Perfect. Started off with a nice birdie. <coughs> Hopefully, we can keep it going. Just fresh into the game now this evening. I did have a sneak around earlier on today. Didn't play too bad. Oh, again, I didn't actually want the fast air, but it should be okay. Oh, I think it might be in the rough. Ah, oh, no, we're okay. Luckily, it's a headwind. Well, near enough to a headwind. Uh, 154, 
Let's see, I don't know about 6 or 7, maybe 163. 163 to 165, maybe. Uh, Ball is below the feet. Keep it straight at it, just a little touch of D left. And we are, oh, where's that going to go? Where's it going to go? It's not on the green anyway, that's for sure. <coughs> no, okay, so best, of, best par here. <coughs> Sorry, I will apologise again. Use a little bit of a, a phenomenon in the throat. Part and parcel of being a smoker. Oh, is that too firm? That was a bit too firm. Oh, I'll try to come back. It's not too bad, it's only about six feet, I think. Five, that's even better. I did mention in the putting video as well, I have gotten myself into the habit of doing this even for the short putts now. Should be a four. Right, A. One count one after. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. And I'm sure you are all accustomed to one of my cats that likes to start meowing when I start recording. <laughs> don't think he's done it the last couple of recordings. Uh, the last, actually for the whole of the tips and tricks videos I don't think he did it, but uh, yeah, he likes to do it the odd time. Uh, right, 218 with a headwind. It's going to be what, two, tw I'm going to say up to 225. Like, I mean, hmm. Even with the headwind, I think firm and fast, that's going to be too much. I'm going to try, I'm going to aim it right out here. Fast downswing, see if that'll get up there a bit. D loft. Take a little bit of sting out of the wind, hopefully. There's the fast. I didn't really want the fast backswing as well, though, but if it can kick forward, go on. Oh, it's on the fringe. That's not too bad, depending on what it's like. I might be able to put that. Or a about halfway into the fringe, so yeah, I'm gonna go for a pull. Gonna go for a pull. Just have to remember to just to put a little bit extra on it. Now this is a tricky one with the grid line half vanishing on me. Um, I'm gonna hazard a guess that that's bordering. I'll go seven to be safe. And pull that back a little bit. Back. There we go. And. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 5, so I think 12. <coughs> uh, be safe, I'll get that another 5, 17. 4, Back up to at least a 4, so it's going to be 40, we'll count this one for good measure. Mm, 43, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, and I'll give it a 3.5, seems we're on the fringe, 1, 2, 3, boom. Looks to be tracking fairly well, go on, go on, go on, oh, ho, ho, ho. Another split second on the the backswing of that putt, or just another couple of notches out, and that was in. Well, I'll settle for the par. I have mentioned before in previous videos that uh, I'll always play for par. The birdies will come. Oh God, I don't want the fast backswings all the time, but... I got the fast downswing anyway, that's the main thing. I mean, the fast backswing doesn't really affect it anyway, so. Uh, right, with power five, oh, definitely reachable. But, yeah, it's 254 to the pin, playing 248. I'm gonna try a fast backswing, or a fast, back, fast downswing even on this. Wind might keep it fairly straight. There we go. It's going a little bit left, but it might just make the green. It's going to be a tricky put if it does. I prefer to actually have... Yeah, I think I should have been just laying up. It would have been a better option. We're inside the grid. Oh, just outside the grid. Let's have a look. Looks like we'll be on that line. It's fairly similar to that first one. So this would be a good little test. So, I imagine we are on a grid line back there. And it's about the same. So, one, two... Back to a ooh, back to one. So I'll be back to one right, three right. 
gonna get another four, it's gonna be seven, right? Picking up a little bit. Uh, six thirteen. I think I'll give that maybe a five, so that'll be eighteen. Might be a little bit off at this one. Eighteen, that'll be twenty. Twenty-two. This is where they can get it a little bit tricky. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight. Yeah, I'll give that a four. Uh, Thirty-one. Come on, get to the base. 31, 35. And yeah, yeah, I got a 4, I'll be 39. And I'll count this one by half it. That is the right, yeah, that's the right one. <coughs> uh, so what did I say there? Did I say 35? Did I say 35? Lost track now. But I'll count this to 3, I'm just going to put on 2. I would say 37, but I think I've got that wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think I'm badly missing this one, but we'll give it a go. That marker is right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't think I even gave that enough today. Come on, start turning. Turn. Turn. Keep holding. Oh. Yeah, I think I, I think it was actually about 36, 37 is what I should have originally counted before I forgot, but it was for Eagle. Just tap that in, take a birdie. What's that, two under, I think. It is indeed, happy days. If I can get to the usual, I still always aim for that five under mark. Um, through nine. Ooh, bit of a push on that. Fast, bringing it back though. And speed the shot up, I would be here all day. So 181, maybe add on two or three, so 183 to the pin. Ah, let's see. Right, there we go, ball is slightly above the feet, is that going to be about 3, 4 now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, see, actually that might not be too bad, green is flowing right to left anyway. 183, but I think I want to put some loft on it, trying at the wind to just hang it up a little bit. Oh, again, there's the fast. I'm having a lot of trouble actually with the tempo lately. <clears throat> the other day when I was playing, I was actually, I actually pushed forward slow. If I pushed forward any slower, I wouldn't have been moving the stick. That's how slow I felt I went, and I actually got a fa uh, not a fast, but a very fast downswing. Uh, I've heard of a lot of other people on PS4 anyway. Like myself, having a lot of trouble with tempo over the last couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I can't see any grid line there, so I'll work from here. So this is going to be yeah, 4, 8, 10. Down right down, I'll still give that a 2, that'll be 12. Back to 10, maybe half this one. I'm saying 9, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. i give it about a 2. 1, 2. So I got the legs, gonna turn back. Oh! Just need, I think the 5s that I gave maybe were 6s. <coughs> oh, the, oh, wait, it was a 4, wasn't it? Yeah, 4. 4s were 5s. But didn't miss by much. Have a hair in my mouth. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. I hate that when I get a hair in the mouth. <laughs> always, uh, always chasing it around trying to catch it. Uh, now is a five would gonna be enough, or is it gonna be too much? Might be alright. I'll take a chance. Definitely didn't want a fast downswing that time. Anyway, that'll do nicely. Should be just a nice pitch shot. Maybe up to a lob edge in. Yeah, just a pitch. A little bit of headwind, it's playing 66. <coughs> a little touch of D-loft, should be alright. Pull it slightly. Can it sit quick enough? Come on, sit. That's not bad, should be just inside 10. It is 8 feet. Perfect. Uh, not much in it, it looks like. Uh, looks going by the... Back of the golfer's leg, my play, and about a five. 
seven. And I think I'll just give that a one, so A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. One. Ooh, that missed. That initial one might have been maybe a six. It's hard to tell those ones sometimes when you're right on and the golfer's foot is in the way. But that might have been a six, maybe bordering towards a seven, but it looked behind the golfer's leg anyway to be more like a five. But them ones can throw me off a little bit. <coughs> sometimes get lucky if you're just uh, just off and you can you can see some of it, but Oh, and there's very fast. Now I played for a fast there, but I don't think I I don't feel like I pushed forward that fast. Alright, long power four. Uh two oh nine, playing about two oh five. Take the seven off, one ninety eight. I'm not even confident. Yeah, I think I'll actually go way out here. So I don't want to catch that big slope and just hopefully six iron will be enough to run up. Coming around. Oh, it's coming around too far. Can I hop up? Go on. Nope. I'd prefer it to come off the green. Thank you. So this is my first time I'm actually playing pin set 3. 99% of the time if I'm playing a car, well, apart from if I'm playing an event, um, I'm always playing pin set 1 on a course. So I'm playing the likes of TGC Tours or something like that or another society. Where there is going to be multiple pin sets involved throughout an event. <coughs> Obviously, then I'll be playing different ones than pin set one. But all right, so just another par. All right, what's that? The seventh hole, I think, two under. So I'm not going to reach my preferred target of five under, but no need to worry about that too much. Uh, two hundred one, playing one ninety nine, one ninety three with the wind, maybe. So again, I'm going to play six iron. Well, why is the green sloping? Mm, or oh, kind of up on a up and in between. I don't know why I did that. I'm not on the green. Where's the marker gonna drop up there? Are right, we saying a little bit? Oh, and again, there's the fast. Now again, uh, and again, as I say, I do not feel like I am. Um, like I pushed forward that fast and it's off the green. Long and left. So it's just been it's been plaguing myself and as I as I'm aware of a number of other people. For at least the last week or so. I know there was apparently server maintenance Xbox side, but I think they definitely need to do something PS4 side, if not PC side as well. So pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty boring round so far. Not really dropping them. Well, puts aren't going too bad, but in terms of getting birdies, I think I'm gonna go through the trees. I usually have done each time I've played, and it's worked out fairly well. Should catch that tree, that lower one maybe to one just to the side of it. There we go. Don't catch the trunk. Did catch it? Can it run out? perfect that's usually what I do and just pray that I don't hit the trunk of the tree instead and kick back uh, how's the ball a bit above the feet 141 say 147 take off about five maybe 142 so I think have that out about six or seven squares one two three four five should be about six or seven there yeah should be just nice maybe a little bit more be safe and yeah, I think just a touch of D-loft. Good swing. Looks to be coming around nicely. Oh, can I sit quick? Come on, sit, 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 sit. That's not bad. Just outside 10, it looks like. Oh, it is 10. Don't think we're kind of on the halfway mark, so I'll ignore the one behind the ball. And I think I want to give that a 2. I can see a sliver of green. Four, six. We'll count this one in half for good measure. 
So I'll say seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. And we finally get another birdie. So three under. And that was the eight hole, I think, was it? Or was that the ninth? That was the ninth. All right, three under through nine. Not too bad. <clears throat> Not too bad. Could have been better. And uh, yeah, fast downswing should sort that. Right up onto the fairway. Just don't come too far left on me. Just about. Oh. <laughs> Another couple of yards. Another couple of yards. Right, severe upslope. 149. Around 13. 159. 162. Now with the wind and with the lie. Right, definitely an 8 iron. We aim at about here, I'd say. And I th actually, I think I'm going to play a fast downswing just to be safe. I'll put a little bit of loft on just in case as well. Right, there's the fast. It's coming around. Hopefully that can run up nicely. I never looked at my way to screw the, the green was sloping actually, but it's not too bad. 18 feet. Alright, give that a three. Ooh, we're in between a three and a four. I think I'll just nudge up a little bit more there. I'm aiming towards a three, right? So that'll be six. I'll probably regret that. Uh, I'm going to go three again. Nine. That's more of a four. Thirteen. Again, about another four there. So I'll say thirteen. Eighteen. Where is the pin? There it is. Eighteen. And another three, twenty-one. What's this one doing? Right, we'll call it twenty-two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-one, two, one, two. Two, two and a half count. I think it's turning too much. Yeah. Mm. A little bit off this evening. Another thing, actually, just to uh, just to briefly mention as well, what can throw you off sometimes as well. Um, what I found anyway is you've probably noticed if even if you don't get down at the worm column, if you just kind of go by feel, which are puts one thing that can throw you off. Well, more so if you if you do do this method, but what you what you may have noticed, no matter what way you put, is that sometimes the grid lines can appear fuzzy rather than um, really really sharp edged. <clears throat> And sort of really thin, pencil thin almost. Uh, the fuzzy ones can kind of throw you off a little bit sometimes. I know they're not too fuzzy. They're fairly fairly thin these ones, but I'm just just not getting the numbers right tonight. Uh, 122. We'll call it 125 maybe with the wind. Really gonna want to aim out here. Sail up there should be all right. Just want to say 125. Five. I'm on a bit of a down slope, but I will deal off it just in case. Nice swing. Looks like it's tracking well. Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Beautiful. Beautiful approach. I don't think we need to read that one. Just send it home. So, another birdie. <coughs> Takes us to... Four under. Par 3, 12th. 186 yards, 189. With that wind, I nearly want to play a 7 iron and let this run. It is uphill. But. Yeah, 6 iron is going to be too long. It's just going to be too long. Marco was just starting to move there. There we go. So I think we'll just play the, play the 7 iron. Probably have a mid to long put. Oh wait, hold on. That's not too bad. It's maybe about 18 to 20 feet. 18 it is. Doesn't look to be too aggressive, which it's not. Maybe two. Oh, I want to give that a one only, so that'll be three. This looks like it might be about the same, so that'll be four. I can see a tiny bit of green, I'm gonna give this, so I'm gonna come back to two, so I'll be two right. Back to straight. 
two left. What's this one doing? We'll go two left. One, two. Could, uh, I could probably just leave this three. But uh, give this a three count. One, two, three. Come on, turn back for me. Looks good. That did not die on the lip. Come on. <laughs> can I actually can I actually get a little close up look at this? That did not just die right on the lip like that. Come on, how close is that? Don't know if you can see that clearly, but come on. Another half a roll. Another half a roll and <laughs> that was in four inches. That is cruel. Ah, oh, that is cruel. So I have four under with six to play anyway. Um Fast should be alright here. Oh, big push though. That could be bunkered. And it is. Just don't plug. Please don't plug. Yeah, it's plugged. Well, that's not too bad. Um, 81 playing 84. I'm almost thinking that this might be alright as it is. We'll have a long putt, but I'll give it a go. I'll put a little bit of loft on it. Oh, didn't want the fast. Or did I want the fast? Hold on, this could work out okay. Come on, get up. Fast worked out okay. Sometimes that can work in your benefit when you don't intentionally want the fast downswing. Or work in your favour is what I meant to say there, but benefit, same meaning really. Uh, I think I'll just give that a 2. Four. Oh, I think I actually just want to keep that even. Give it a four, maybe a five. One, two, three, four, five. Markers where it should be one. So, horrible tee shot. And still walked away with the birdie. <coughs> Take it a five under. Par five coming up. 545 yards. Might be reachable. And, oh, now this is a tough decision. It's not too strong of a headwind. I'll aim about here and we'll try our luck. This could go horribly wrong. There's the fast. It's come on way left though. Come on, come on, hold that line. And um, we're saving the fairway just about. Bit of a gamble there. If the wind was any stronger, I wouldn't have gone for that. Moderate upslope, 245, playing 249. With the wind, I mean, it is a par 5. Yeah, we'll just we're just gonna smash the two wood up there, I think. Very nice swing. Now can I get down? Come on, get down, be nice. Come on. After the last hole. Yeah, that's not too bad. A little chip. Six yards, I'll crank the left up on this one. Come on. Oh go on, go on, go on. Boom! <laughs> In you go. It's not very often that I actually do crank the loft up on uh, on the chip shots. Usually I just give like a little half or a third swing or something like that for a six yarder. But I know the full swing, fully lofted on the lob wedge or the chip shot will carry six yards. So that worked out very nice. Um, right, let me see. Slope. We can use the slope to the advantage, hopefully. Um, if needs be, 172 is roughly worth playing. We'll call it 170 with the wind. Where's a 6 iron going to get? Or 6 iron? Uh, 160 going to get me. A little touch of D loft. So maybe about there. Now hopefully this will carry. If I remember right, pin set 1. I tried it. It was a bit more. I think it's, yeah, it's a bit over more left or something. And uh, it didn't work out very well. Didn't want the fast, but if it's going left, there is the slope. Oh, get the slope, get the slope. Oh no, pin set one is up uh, up top of the thing, yeah. Up on that top tier, but it's coming back down. Oh, I think it's pin set. Yeah, actually, I did play on a different pin set. Pin set two. <coughs> I played on recently. So let's get another little chip. Let's try the full loft again. Ah, uh, no, nah, that's dying. Alright, that should be just uh, 
Minimal movement. I will take the par. And stay at, what are we at? Actually, uh, seven under, I think. <coughs> seven under three to play. That's not. It's not too bad. I mean, the back or the back nine, the front nine could have been a lot better. There's a few unintentional fasts, but I definitely want one here. Oh, actually, it could have been a mistake. No, the rough killed a bit of the pace out. Took some of its sting away, so that's not too bad. Uh, once, well, I don't know, I was about to say 167, 157, playing about 159, take the wind off 153. Alright, that's got 9 iron all over it. Might go on a little long. Oh, and there we go again. There's the fast. There's the fast. If we can sit quick. 20, 25 feet maybe. 20 dead on. Let's see if we can't drain this one. Take the 8 under. Uh, oh, I think I just want to give that a 1. And 3. 5. Ah, oh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm just going to give it a 1. So that'll be 6. I think I want to give this a 2, though. It's picking up a little bit. So that'll be, what did I say, 6. That'll be 8. I see a sliver of green appearing now. So that'll be 10. 12. And what's that doing? That's pretty much level. Alright, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1. Oh, is it tracking? Go on. In you go. <coughs> so, do take a day it under. Let's see if we can't manage to claw away to 10 under for the round, and I'll be happy with that. That's a That'll be a respectable score. 8 under is still a respectable score, to be honest. Uh, 244, 238, 231. So, uh, 231. Five would it's still gonna be a bit too long. So I'm just gonna run on. Um, so we'll take a big gamble. Aim it over here, go fast because it should pull hard left. There we go. Oh, it's not coming as hard left as I thought it was going to, and it's missed the green. Usually when I play a two iron <coughs> or a two iron thing two wood in my head, uh usually when I play a four iron, a two out three. Um, it usually pulls a little bit harder left than that. I'd say this should be alright. Hopefully. Oh, there's fast. Oh, wait. Go on, run. Uh, so it's just going to be a par. So we can still try for eagle. Well, provided we do drain this par put. I will count this one. I'm fairly close to it. Um, give it a three. I think I want to give that a 4, so that'll be 7. I don't know, 3, 10. What's this doing? Alright, call it 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1. And we do get the par perfect. Alright, so can we get an eagle here? I um, can't remember how long this hole is. 563, five, well, 527. Gonna be playing. Well, I don't know why I'm playing. I don't know why I'm playing the elevation. <laughs> I'm not doing an approach shot yet. Oh, and there's a very fast. But thankfully, did a big curve out and then back. Bit of a fish hook at the top of the uh, the swing line there. It is reachable, possibly. 268 and 42, so that's going to be out on 14. 270, a 282 with the wind. I mean, it'll be a lengthy putt, but should we might as well go for it. Nothing to lose. There's the fast. I mean, that's coming a bit more left than the four iron did a minute ago. 
We're in the grid. So, outside chance for the eagle. Be nice to finish it with one. I think I want to call that... Maybe a four. What's this one like? I'm going to judge from that. Yeah, I'll give it a four. This will be about a three. So that'll be seven. I think I only want... Yeah, I think I'll give that a three as well. It'll be ten. There's two. That'll be twelve. Fourteen. Pick up a little bit here. Fourteen. That's got to be at least a five. So that'll be nineteen. Um... <clears throat> 19, oh, I want to give that a 6, that's 25, pop that pin in, so 25, uh, I think I'll give that a 4, it'll be 29, and a 4, 33, kind of leveling out a little bit here, I'll give that a 1 though, so 34, and then we'll come back a little bit the other way, 34, 3 or 4, 3 or 4, 3 or 4, I'll give it 3, so I'll say 34, 31, and uh, definitely give that a 4, so it'll be 27, and just for safety, that's touching towards a 6, so as I say 27, I'm going to have and take off 3, 27, 24, 24 left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, give it 5 count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think, yeah, I hit that too firm, Hit that too far. Didn't take the break. <clears throat> oh, stop there. Come on. Give me some ch some sort of chance to get a birdie here. <laughs> Finish off. If we can get it to 9 under, but otherwise I'm happy enough with 8 under. Bloody foot in the way. Uh, I give it a 4. Five would be 9. I'm probably going to regret that. Not a 5, it'll be 14, I'll definitely count this one in. I'll give that a 4, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18. 1, go on, turn. Here we go. Okay, so we got it to 9 under. That's not too bad, it's a respectable enough score. Um, as we do know, anyway, I missed a, missed a few opportunities, had some bad, bad, uh, Bad swings on the front nine, getting unintentional fast, pulling the ball left and missing the green, <coughs> and having to sell for par. But uh, otherwise, nine under. My other rounds, I know definitely my very first round, I did shoot 13, was it 13 or 14 under a shot the very first time that I attempted uh, attempted this course, using all the all the methods that I have gone through in the tips and tricks. Um, but as I did mention in the video uh, earlier on, with that, just uh, try if you do try out that putting method just just keep that in mind that roughly you might find it a little bit different yourself but just halfway between the base and the base of the screen and that the, the bottom of that white eye symbol circle uh I, halfway between that i'd gauge to be about a three um and then as well just keep in mind that if the grid lines are a fuzzy a fuzzy sort of grid line rather than real pencil sharp line um that can throw you off a little bit as well but guys, that is going to do it for this video. This has been the final. Sort of, it's hard to along the lines of a little bit of a bonus video. Uh, just seeing how well we can score. Using all the methods that we have put into practice. Uh, for this tips, ups, updated tips and tricks series. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please do make sure to drop it a like. And if you're only new to the channel or you haven't already, do subscribe if you wish to. And make sure to click that bell icon so you stay notified of when I do upload in the future. And until the next one, take care. Have yourselves a good one. And bye for now.